Lawmakers in Springfield had ended their spring session after a whirlwind weekend. They missed a deadline to adjourn before midnight Saturday, but they passed several bills before wrapping up last night. The General Assembly passed a $40 billion budget. It includes $370 million for public education and fully funds a $9 billion pension contribution. Lawmakers also approved a plan to legalize sports betting and expand casinos. It's expected to bring in $700 million for schools, prisons, and sewage treatment. Plants. A $45 billion capital construction plan will fund roads and bridges and includes an unexpected $4 billion bonus dollars for Chicago mass transit commuters. But as CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely tells us, it comes at a price. He is live near Roosevelt and Canal. Derek. Brad and Erica, Chicago's mass transit agencies, CTA, Metra, and Pace, haven't received a dime in state aid for hardware in a decade. That's because Illinois hasn't had a capital spending program in a decade. And man, oh man, Metra passengers could surely tell. Remember the toll extreme weather has taken on Metra? Rail cars incapacitated by frigid cold, while during a heat wave, passengers bake due to air conditioning breakdowns. All because some Metra rail cars are literally old enough for Social Security. So that new mass transit cash from Springfield should help. Well, this is a substantial package, and this will address uh, a substantial portion of the maintenance needs that we have in this region. Chicago's transit agencies will share more than $4 billion in state aid. The official split isn't made yet, but expect the CTA to get around $2.2 billion, while Metra takes $1.6 billion. And while Metro wouldn't say where they'd spend their money first, last March they said they were ordering 200 new cars with options to buy 200 more if funding is available. Well, now it is. With Metra, they're running really, really old locomotives that are breaking down, so they really need to update some of their locomotives so that their trains are more reliable. Meantime, CTA says the money will allow it to continue rebuilding stations and track and rehabbing rail cars and buses. But there is a cost. Much of the cash comes from a doubling of the motor fuel tax from 19 cents to 38 cents a gallon, with future increases now guaranteed. So we should not find ourselves in the same position uh, where we've been flat for 30 years. Now it'll, it'll go up gradually with inflation. About 20% of that gas tax increase will go to mass transit, and almost all of that mass transit money will be spent right here in the Chicago area. But while $4 billion is a lot of money, mass transit planners say about $30 billion is needed to make up for all the deferred maintenance on all the transit systems in the metropolitan Chicago area. We're live in the South Loop. Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Erica? Okay, thank you, Derek.